Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and what you're seeing down here, down there actually, is flight footage from the Emacs Tiny Hawk S that I converted into an HD recording camera. I mean, I put an HD recording camera on it, which is pretty cool. As you probably know by now, HD hybrid FPV cameras, like integrating HD recording capabilities into FPV cameras is what I'm trying to say is a thing it's definitely a thing now it's very pretty much very common and it's really cool actually because you can get very very good quality now compared to a gopro it's like definitely not that great of quality it's not gopro quality but it's good quality now what i'm actually using is the old uh hd recording camera from the eachin lizard 105s the quality is pretty trash. I mean, compared to what's available now, like the, well, shoot, uh, the run cams, the Fox ears, the Cadex, uh, HD recording cameras. And then like, now they're like 4k cameras. Like what? This is crazy. I did this not so much for the video quality to show you like, wow, isn't, aren't these just amazing shots, even though they really are amazing shots, but you get kind of used to it after a while. But the point is basically just a proof of concept to see if I could put a little uh, HD video recording board onto the Emacs Tiny Hawk S. And I definitely can. If you're interested, I'm gonna discuss more about this and uh, some of the things that I noticed in flight. And I'll show you uh, how I put it together because I did have to modify the frame a little bit. So now let's talk about the construction and then we'll talk about the performance. What I had to do is I took the uh, the Eachin board, the Eachin camera, we'll call it, out of this other quadcopter that I had. And that is a little 20 by 20 stack, uh, a board to go on a 20 by 20 stack. So I pulled it off of there. And you'll notice uh, when I took it all apart, there's like a whole bunch of other stuff. Well, like there's like the whole purple housing thing, the aluminum housing thing, which actually weighed quite a bit compa compared to the actual weight of the camera. And then I took apart the uh, Emacs and then I soldered, unsoldered a few things, soldered a few things back together, had to undo the camera there from the Emacs, which is actually pretty poor quality. I might show you some flight footage or some camera. Yeah, flight footage from that camera just as kind of a comparison. Of course, I did kind of break it sort of and then fixed it, but it's kind of blurry and fuzzy. Anyway, so then... I, uh, I was going to put the board on the bottom and kind of stack it kind of underneath the battery plate. Turns out that the mounting holes that are closest together on the Tiny Hawk S board are actually not the same size as like a 20 by 20 stack uh, diagonal mounting hole. So that's what I thought that it would be, but it turns out it wasn't. So I wasn't able to integrate it on the bottom there. And it turns out that like I would have had to do some other stuff and get some longer screws. And these are super tiny screws, so I didn't have any. So anyway, basically I did like the super hodgepodge method and I just made a little backpack for it. And actually I didn't even make a backpack for it. I just taped it on with some good old fashioned electrical tape because that just is the most professional thing that I could possibly do. And I just Tape the camera in place. But it works. It works quite well, actually, and it's pretty uh, durable. And then I put it all back together and that's it for construction. Now let's look at some more flight footage while I talk about the performance aspects. 
So we did add a little bit of weight, but not very much weight, like hardly at all. But one thing I did notice is that it seems like the battery does not last as long and we don't quite have the same, uh, it's not quite as much power, I feel like. Like there's just something, eh, it just doesn't fly as good as it used to. And I think that part of that could be because we added a little bit of extra weight. Also, we did kind of mess around kind of the aerodynamics, I suppose, of it a little bit. I didn't really block the inlet to the uh, to the rear motors very much, but it could still kind of mess with it maybe. The other thing I noticed is, well, just lately, and this is probably because I crashed it or something, I may need to recalibrate the gyros, but it has been flying not as smoothly as, as it has been in the past. But I mean, that's understandable. I'm still in the, the original pair of propellers. They have not come off, um, although they did get a little bit loose at one point. The main thing though is that it's totally doable. Like I can still fly around and it's maneuverable and you can get some really awesome footage. So in, in this footage, you can see the frame of the quadcopter, but it would be really cool if the camera was either mounted all the way forward so you didn't see the frame or you you know increase the up tilt so that you could um, not see the frame. But if, if you increase the up tilt, then you gotta fly a lot faster. And that's not really great if you're kind of on the, a little bit on the heavy side if you're being powered by a one cell LiPo. The other reason why the battery doesn't work or I last as long is because it's powering this board to actually do the DVR recording. And this board and camera get pretty toasty. They get kind of warm, which means that there's a bunch of electricity going through there. So that's definitely another reason. I feel like, honestly, I feel like it's probably cut the flight time by like a third. I probably could have gotten like three minutes flight time before just cruising around. And now it's like maybe two. And also though, I have had these batteries for a little while and some of the batteries I have drained a little bit too much because I was having a little bit too much fun, you know what I mean? And then you don't pay attention to the battery voltage and then it goes flat and then you puff the battery. And so I've got, I do have at least one battery that's kind of puffy. Um, I need to order some more batteries, man, because uh, this, this thing is just too fun to, to quit flying. In summary, Proof of concept, successful. If I can just get a nice camera on there and board, maybe like that Runcam Nano, I'd like a bigger version because I think it'd be better to have a bigger lens and a bigger sensor. Um, but the small version would probably work just fine. Also, if you ran this on two cell, which I did not do here, I think you, I mean, you'd have better performance. Of course, it would help to to carry the extra weight and, and you'd have the extra juice, but I think that's just like, it's a little bit much. Like I feel like, I feel like it's just working it too hard, but I don't know, maybe it could, it could handle it, maybe. Well, that was an interesting experiment. Hope you enjoyed this and maybe it gave you some inspiration on what you can do with your Tiny Hawk quadcopter. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video because the YouTube people need to know that you liked it. Subscribe to this channel. If you like what you see and you want to see more, think about subscribing. Have a great day.